Aquarius, welcome to your love reading. So let's see what the overall energy is. We're going to look at Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus of Aquarius. I do answer comments. I do love suggestions. Um, and I would love to know where you're watching the video from because I traveled internationally as a career working for an airline. And I would love to know where you're, where you're watching from. All right, so let's see what we have here. At the bottom of the deck, the overall energy, Aquarius, is a King of Cups, Scorpio energy. What appears to be on the surface, it seems very calm and serene, but underneath, you're feeling nervous. There's sort of a churning in your belly here about what's going on in your life right now. You're wondering really about the choices that you've made. Are they the right ones as you've moved forward? Oh, there's a little bit of fear, but you know what? Whenever we make a change, whenever we do something bold and brave, you know, it's a little scary. And that's what I think that you are feeling. So in your relationship at this time, Aquarius, your energy coming in is Page of Pentacles. Down to earth, you're not expecting too much. You're in the energy of trying to just make things work out, being very practical, that's Virgo energy. Uh, just keeping it basic, not stressing anything out in your relationship. The Seven of Cups, you don't really know what the future is going to bring, but you're wishing upon a star. Uh, Seven of Cups is the energy of Scorpio again, so there may be some curiosity about what your person is doing. You may be keeping your options open, um, but you're open to change if you think that it would be appropriate or make you happy, but you don't know right now what you don't know. We get the Wheel of Fortune. You are taking your chances in love. We get... You know, the Wheel of Fortune turns right side up and upside down. It's spinning the wheel like at the roulette table, and you are taking your chances on love. You're willing to just put your energy out there. You're going to see where it takes you. You're not making any definitive decisions right now. You're going to sort of just take a wait-and-see attitude. Your person for whom you've come to ask about, Ten of Coins. That's Virgo energy. They have a lot of certainty about what they want. This is a marriage card. It indicates that your person either wants marriage with you if they're not already married to someone else, um, but they want a very, they want legacy. They are looking and bringing the energy of long-term commitment into the relationship with you. Legacy marriage, building a life together in which there's great abundance, generational wealth, a beautiful home, good educations, having the family well taken care of. We have the Knight of Wands, interesting energy. So Aquarius, you, and I do read this as love, but it can be any relationship. It could be a work relationship. You know, it's like a buffet table. You take what fits and leave what doesn't. But we get the energy, this is very unusual energy to have player energy with marriage energy. So you may be contemplating having a fling with somebody but you could have somebody who's coming in and behaving with in and out energy, even though they may be more stable than it appears, but we'll see. If this is a third party situation or a player, it will further reveal itself in the reading. All right, devil energy. So we have someone who is has some energy that is not completely healthy. It looks like the in and out energy, with it's, it's inharmonious. Let's look and see what Spirit is saying about the relationship. I will clarify everything. We are going to look at the outcome. But let's see what Spirit has to add to this story. I could see why you would feel uncertain right now. Why you would just sort of take a wait and see attitude. Okay, so tell us what's going on here. We have Dragonfly Spirit Change. So, okay, so Aquarius, no wonder you're a bit nervous. You really don't know what the future holds. <laughs> I sounded so funny. My throat started closing. Okay, you don't know what the, the future holds. <laughs> be nice to be able to talk. We have a Mercury retrograde coming up. Okay, joy, right? You want to be happy. That makes sense. Strength card. So the relationship between you and the other person is a strong relationship. It does look like you've been together for a long time, but I don't think that there's a commitment forthcoming here. I feel like somebody's holding back. 
I feel like they're keeping you in this sort of uncertain energy. Maybe we will move forward, maybe we won't move forward, but the energy from your partner, person of interest is not coming in as healthy. It's Capricorn energy. We have Sagittarius energy and Virgo energy. This person may be a workaholic and they may try to break free and see you when they can, but this also could, I think, for some of you, be a work relationship that, you know, in which you're just not sure what's going to happen. Okay, so let's see what the outcome is here before we clarify. King of Swords energy. King of Swords is Aquarius. There you are in your reading, Aquarius. You've appeared. You're staying cool, calm, collected, very intellectual, very aloof. You are a fixed energy, so it's not, you're not flaky at all. You're just being very, you're being very grounded. It's fixed energy. It's fixed air. And so we really see you trying to figure out the best solution, staying in your, not in your heart space. You're really staying sort of aloof and looking at things from a higher perspective here. We get the energy of the two of coins. So it's very fluid right now. No definite decision is being made about this relationship. It's keeping your options open, your person with this in and out energy, the two of coins, maybe maybe even juggling two lovers. Um, we have the energy of the justice card, though, Libra energy. So you're looking for balance. Uh, you want something that's fair. Um, you know, when I get Aquarius, Libra, you know, that's a very strong, good, very ground, you know, you're really staying uh, stable and balanced. So let's jump in here and see what these energies are. So it could be, it could be just that you're not in a relationship specifically. You could be out dating right now and uncertain. It looks as though there's someone that you like, but it's kind of easy come, easy go. You know, I'll hop on and hop off that wheel of fortune. Um, you do feel as though somebody's trying to present themselves as being more stable than they actually are. You're taking note of it. You're very aware of it. Okay. So why do we have Scorpio energy here? Let's give, get a little mini Celtic here. Three of Swords. Okay. It looks as though you're in the energy of a potential breakup or you feel as though you're in a third party situation, or you're actually, you might actually be worried if a lover is cheating. So, you know, take it as it resonates. It's gonna be different for everybody, but we'll keep going here. We have the Three of Wands. So the overall energy, Three of Wands and Three of Swords is, it looks like to be happy, somebody has to make a decision to stay. Now, I do think that you've chosen each other because this is your joint energy. Uh, Three of Swords, though, says that there's been some sort of heartbreak. There could be divorce. We get the Justice card twice here. The Justice card is Libra. It's all about long-term commitment. You've chosen each other, but I think right now there may be the choice either not to marry, to break up, but I just don't think the two of you really know. You find each other to be delightful. That sun card's the happiest card in the deck. The three of wands says that you see each other as, as a ship that's arrived in the harbor. Why do we have the page of pentacles here for you? Ace of coins, you want an offer. You want a substantial offer from somebody. You're in the energy of making an offer, but you're not saying much about it. You're taking a wait and see attitude. You definitely, you, this could also be a situation in which you have had a relationship with somebody who may have cheated and that you've gone forward in the relationship anyway or this person may have expressed a desire to break up at some point you want to go ahead you're taking a wait and see attitude you want the hierophant you know that's the seventh house of scorpio you know what you want you're very clear what does the seven of cups represent a wait and see attitude again looking at things from a different perspective, keeping your options open, not really drawing any conclusions. But here we have the King of Swords again. And we have, you know, we have the King of Swords here. So you are going to have the final say in the matter. You know, if this becomes too much for you, you will break things off. You will cut things away, but you are very much staying in an aloof energy you know, you care about your person. I feel as though you've been dear friends and lovers for a very long time. 
Wheel of Fortune again. You're just willing to take your chances. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here twice? Eight of Coins. Learning about something or someone. For many of you, I think this may not even be a direct love relationship. I think it could be work. But I, I get that you're taking your chances. You're healing, though. So Three of Swords to the Four of Swords. The Nine of Wands. You still have fire in your belly. Yep, I think that there's been some sort of uh, dishonesty, some sort of player energy. There might you might have seen a text message. You might be questioning the authenticity of your person's love. Let's see what we have for the Ten of Coins because this is a commitment card. It looks like you're in a relationship with this person. You could live with them. The Daughter of Cups, Page of Cups. You feel as though they're being um, a bit flaky here. The page of cups is delightful. It's sweet, but it is not. It's nothing more than, hey, let's go for coffee. So for some of you, you might actually be in a situation where you could be at work, you could be in a stable relationship, and somebody is approaching you, and you're not happy about it. I know that's a really off the wall thing to say, but that could be, there's at least a message out there for someone that, you know, you're in a relationship, and now you're at work, and it could even be like a boss or a co-worker who's making you feel uncomfortable. But, okay, so we get the Daughter of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles, again, a lot of page energy here. Just trying to stay grounded, trying to keep everything squared away, tidy. Ace of Cups, so it does look like there's somebody who's coming in and out, somebody who uh, wants to offer you some love. The Ace of Cups is good, though, because it's... Tell us about the player energy, though. Seven of Coins, they're invested. But they... You know, that's Sagittarius energy. Tell us more about why this person is in player mode. The World card. Hmm. The World card is usually leveling up, going to the next level, being successful. It's the best card in the deck. It's, it's somebody who's willing to perhaps... You know, get more serious about the relationship. Son of Pentacles. Okay, I like that. That's great. Now we have the Knight of Pentacles. Going from the Knight of Wands to the Knight of Pentacles. Very grounded. Virgo energy. Day in and out. Being very reliable. Moving slowly and deliberately. Why do we have the Devil card here for your person? Ten of Wands. They're giving up the burdens. <sighs> The devil card with player energy is almost like somebody doesn't want to give up their freedom. They want this to work, though. They want to collaborate. They realize that they're putting a burden on the relationship. Good, Aquarius, that's your energy. They definitely want to come clean with you. They definitely want to make the relationship right, to heal it, to make it good. Whatever status the relationship is in with you, we're seeing your person wanting to be have a lot of integrity with you. They may make a confession, though. That's kind of the energy that I'm getting here. I feel as though your person has made a confession of some sort to you, possibly about a flirtation or something that they've done in the past, some reason that you know, you'd question this relationship. You seem really okay, though. I'm not seeing, you know, I'm not seeing this as, like, tragic. But we'll see what the outcome says. So you're in this very, you know, you feel as though this is your person. You feel as though there's a lot of enlightenment in your relationship with the devil energy. Okay, so you're very concerned about whether this person can be the right person for you. Eight of coins, you're going to see if this relationship can continue to grow. It's learning. Oh, but that two of coins is is you and still in a period of indecision. Do I, don't I, do I, don't I? Six of swords, more healing, lots of healing here. Your person wants you, hopes and dreams for love coming true. The hermit card, oof. Two of coins, two of coins. I mean, there's there's something pending here. The Mother of Pentacles is reversed in this reading. So the two of you could also be deciding on whether to have a child. Sun card is children. Three of Swords might be a partner telling you that they want their freedom, that they don't want to be tied down with a the child. There's a lot of page energy here. 
So it also might be the decision about that. The two of you look as though you've loved each other for a long time. High Priestess says that you probably will not speak about this for a little bit. I think you're going to take time to come up with a final solution or decision here. Justice card is Libra Energy, Seven of Swords. Oh, the card of dishonesty, dishonesty, not really coming clean, not being really honest, either with yourselves or someone else. But now we have the Moon card. Oh, I'm not happy about this. Aquarius, I don't know what's going on here. Tell me, my goodness, Three of Cups. There may be a friendship in this situation that is created a third party situation but it looks like you're really you're just finishing out the week kind of as you started it there's a lot of questions here about where this can go and it looks like you feel really vulnerable i mean i just think you feel incredibly vulnerable let's look at the heart of the fairy oracle for clarity here let's look at your person because i don't feel like this this energy is not coming to you they have the player energy they have the devil energy it looks as though that's not going anywhere you feel you really feel left alone and vulnerable so tell us about aquarius's person why do we have the player energy here pan Somebody who has really, it's sort of like Peter Pan. I won't grow up. I don't want to go to school. I like my freedom. You know, I don't really know what I want to do. I don't know really, you know. The fixer here is also somebody who whitewashes things. So what I get here is I get you have this person who is really just not willing to take a stand and tell you what they really want. They, bl they brush over things. They whitewash things. They don't really want to grow up, but they don't want to really disappoint you either. I feel as though they have you. Yeah, they're of two minds. I thought so. But it is toxic for you to be in this energy of indecision. You want to move forward. The star fairy, they do see you as a rock star. They do feel as though you're just fantastic, that you're amazing. They know you're going places, Aquarius. The lady of the song. We don't read reversals in this deck. They see you as someone who has a lot to say, a lot to do, a lot of success. Tell us more about this heartbreak that's going on, please. The returning. Interesting. What's returning here, spirit? Oh, man. There could be some repetitive energy of this person showing their butt. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to, you know, you just have to take it with a grain of salt. The hidden one. <coughs> they are a person who doesn't really like to reveal what they feel. They see you as a lady of faith. They see you as a wonderful person. They see you as a queen of the day. It's almost like your person wants you if they're going to have anybody, but they're not really good at um, being building and building legacy. You know, they claim to want that, but. So we're gonna have to see, time will tell. Thank you so much, Aquarius, bye-bye.